Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to start work on the new home build today, but I figured maybe before we jump into that, uh, we'll set up and we'll take a video kind of going through what I guess we'll call the 2020 equipment tour. Uh, it could also kind of be considered like a uh, pre remodel tour of the trailer so you guys can see how things are set up right now. And then as we continue the remodel, you guys can see how we improved upon the things that I didn't really like this far. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. It's probably gonna be a little bit of a longer video today because there's a lot of stuff here to go through, but I'll try and make it quick and snappy. Let's see how it goes. So we'll start off with the stuff that's in the house right now so that you guys uh, kind of see the things that are missing. Um, new, to the, new to the business, uh, I got into a full automatic set of drywall tools. So uh, all tape tech stuff. We've got a carbon fiber bazooka, pump, pan, uh, flat boxes, um, the mud runner, which is good for corners, and then all of my corner tools. Uh, we've got one of the Festool vacs hiding out in here. We've got a new Festool vac over here. Uh, this is the CT36 auto clean, so it will um, clean the filter with like a thud uh, every so often. You can set how long the intervals are between them. Um, and then this was a new purchase as well. Um, so this is a new drywall lift that I picked up. Um, pretty happy with it. It'll hit like 13 and a half feet without any extra extensions or anything like that. And it also has uh, an option to put a drill on here, which we actually use to hang some of these sheets that worked out really, really nice. Um, other than that, in here, we've just got a lot of random little stuff. Um, it is what it is. So let's run outside because outside is where all the magic happens. So I suppose before we get all the way outside, this is some of the new stuff going in the trailer, but the table saw is also camped out in here. That's why it's not put away. New furnace and some of the cabinets that I've been working on as well as the tried and true miter stand that I've been running for basically forever. So uh, that's still running around, new level cabinet. All right, so you have to bear with me. I'm wearing shorts because it makes my brace easier, but uh, I still have the talk. Wouldn't trade that for the world. Uh, all has been well with it. Uh, she's been through like two different services now, uh, two different track changes because I've got a winter set and a summer set. The summer set is still on it. And now that we've got this beautiful white stuff falling down, I'm, I'm ready to make a change back because the traction on the narrow tracks is much better. The B&B dump trailer is still cruising around. Um, beefier than ever. I've got a flat tire I need to fix. Uh, we've got some forks. And then this was a new addition. So um, this is an eight foot man basket that we use with the skid loader for little stuff. So that uh, was a new addition this year. Hindsight being 2020, we should have built it a little different and like put the posts on the outside because then you could actually like put sheet goods in here and stand them up because it's exactly eight feet right now. So, oh well, live and learn. Uh, still have the Western MVP3, still have the same truck that I've had since 17. So continuing on in the uh, equipment tour, if you will, for 2020, um, the newest newest addition uh, is a uh, 22 foot tilt deck from PJ. Uh, really enjoying it so far. Uh, I'm gonna make it quick because I'm outside in the snow, but uh, let me show you what we got going on. So I picked this guy up uh, the, uh, well, New Year's Eve of 19, so 12, 31, 19, I picked this up, uh, 22 foot tilt deck. Uh, it has six feet stationary up front. So the tilt actually, if I can find it, maybe, yes, right here. So that's where the tilt starts. So the tilt is from here back. Uh, 7,000 pound torsions under it, brakes on both axles, LED lights, yada, yada, yada. Nothing all that fancy, but uh, it works out well for hauling the skid loader. So there's that. Um, we gotta do something about those and make them not white. But other than that, that's the PJ. And then uh, 
we can take a step in here and take a little peek around at uh, at what's going on. So we'll start in the back. Maybe we'll do the easy side first. So um, still storing my long tracks up there, the four by eight bench, and then I've got uh, the Capex, the little seven and a quarter cordless. Uh, this was a new tool I picked up this year that I've been really happy with. It's a little Graco ultra cordless uh, paint sprayer. That's been awesome. Uh, the dovetailing jig is out here because I was trying to do fit up of new cabinets and stuff. Um, I built this the way that uh, Ron Polk had designed it um, with the little butaners and I started picking them up here and there. Not a huge fan of the butaners so in the next generation of this trailer we're actually going to get away from those. Um, and I'm going to let all those go, probably Facebook Marketplace them or something like that. Um, just, it ends up being a shit collector. So uh, getting that all cleaned out and out of here will be much better for me and my workflow. <clears throat> we had a little bit of movement or something and we lost a drawer, which then when we tried to open it didn't go over real hot. So the drawer front is in the drawer now and then it's also become a shit collector um i don't mind these drawers they are like probably almost 30 inches deep um but the hard part is they become like massive shit collectors kind of like other things that i've said so like this top one is like an electrical drawer and it just ends up full of random crap hard to see what's what so this is all going to go bye bye this is a random plumbing drawer that's going to go bye bye random random drawer that's going to go bye bye basically this whole cabinet is getting out of here starting over uh not going to use it like that anymore um up front here we have another one of those shit collectors and then i've been trying to get organized so uh i've been running into the uh, Milwaukee pack outs and kind of loading them out with stuff. So like this one has got um, all GRK uh, trim screws in it, cabinet screws that we use all the time, um, so on and so forth. So I'm actually going to build a new cabinet that will have individual cubbies so that they're not locked together and you can get it any different one at any different time. Uh, we've got lots of drywall screws in here because we just got done with the hang not that long ago and then our back stock of like framing nails and sheeting nails. A um, couple new caulk guns. I got sick of having junk ones around so I went out and bought a couple really nice guns. Much better. Highly recommend. Uh, these ones are the uh, Cox brand and uh, basically like this is the lightest duty one so like this is good for like painter's caulk. This is good for like PLs and stuff and then this one has got like a, a, a really low um, like pressure on the handle I guess thrust thrust ratio maybe and so like this is really good for like heavy duty sealants or like roof tar uh, big stuff like that and then obviously a jumbo tube as well for our jumbo PL um, over here nothing has really changed uh, but there will be changes coming so I still hang my belt here uh, that hook got stolen and it's actually hanging light in the house right now. Air hoses and cords are still here. We've got a little tiny propane unit. We've got a cordless propane unit. Andrew, that's, that's yours. I know he'll comment on that. Um, we picked up the Rotex, the little Delta sander and the Domino. So that's why these are here. Also a bigger Craig jig. Um, Still store the ladders the same way as before. I really don't mind it because it's the only thing that's bungeed in really. Uh, behind that I have the Stabila layout station, one random pack out, some Festool bags, and then um, a Milwaukee auto cleaning vac. Still running the hose reels, but I think I'm going to be getting away from these in the next build as well. Um, they're kind of just a pain in the ass, so I'm going to go to like an RV style plug uh, and just keep enough extension cords in the trailer to plug in instead of doing them on the reel like this. Um, it's decent, but it's kind of a pain in the ass too. Uh, this will be getting completely revamped, but that's my big table saw, the 10 inch one. And then we've got coffee maker, microwave, storage. The radio had a catastrophic failure and we 
we lost a member here, so um, not too good. We only have one set of speakers. Those will also be going. Uh, I changed these cubbies this summer and I kicked them up a couple notches. So I'm, I tore the ends off and built them a little taller so that the tall guns um, aren't leaning as much and they take up less space. But uh, basically up here we have uh, framers, roofers, brad guns, lots of brad guns. Um, we have the little SDS that needs to find a different home, some random junk, some lasers. Uh, these guys I'm actually going to end up getting rid of uh, because I picked up the rear handle Milwaukee saw. So I'm going to get rid of these because since I got that, these haven't been used. Uh, this is the regular Sidewinder Milwaukee saw, track saw, um, trim router, uh, drywall router, and then I still have the Makita in there because that gets used quite a bit. Uh, this is the Bosch 1617, Bosch accessories, and then we get into like this is a wide, narrow, or a wide crown staple, uh, flooring stapler, Brad guns, junk, junk little guy this this is good for like drywall and stuff but that's about it sander highly don't recommend the uh hook and loop fell off like instantly that needs to go back get exchanged for a new one this is pretty sweet i do enjoy that this bulldog i'm gonna get out of here now it's just taking up room um and then we've got like impacts drywall guns uh these are awesome if you don't have them for like detail demo work the hacksaws are what's up the little m12ers back there as well um jigsaw sawzalls i built this battery cabinet um a little while ago that was probably a fall or summer thing and uh charged batteries can go in here i could fit uh two two amps stacked up together and then i've got some five amps out and then my 12 O's sit here. I've got backup batteries down here. Also organizers and random junk. So DeWalt stuff for the metal connector gun and the little Graco unit. Um, still have the tape measure rack that's missing a ton of tape measures. Jason and Brian, if you have any of my tape measures, I'd like them back. Um, Otherwise, I have no idea where they went. I had plenty here. Um, another one of those places for shit to collect. As you'll notice, that's been kind of a theme. Oh look, another shit collector. Lumberyard guys brought me pencils the other day. It just, like I said, things need, need to be revamped. Um, let's run through these drawers as quick as possible. So this is a layout drawer. Uh, the scissors jumped out of their place. Not sure why those need to be over here or they were never put away right um, But yeah, I cut the foam for this not sure if I'm gonna bring that into the new trailer or not I like it and hate it one of those deals um, Screwdrivers chisels pencil or chisels knives little baby screwdrivers um, Yep, that's that a mess um, All my snips and stuff like that Anything that you hold and cut, grip, pry, whatever. Um, like I said, this was extra batteries, backup stuff, some straps, a giant shackle. I have no idea why. And then all the extra organizers from the Milwaukee Packouts. Driving and drilling. That guy. Hole saws. Forstner bits back here. Doesn't get used a ton. Hammers, new stiletto hammer. This is another one of those things where it's like people get confused, I think. So there's also hammers down here. The hammer should be in that drawer. Demo tools should be in this drawer. String lines, what a mess. Uh, I like these Tajima chalk lines. I know other people don't, but I've grown to like them. So that's just me. Uh, this has usually got more of my glues and stuff in it, but everything was about frozen, so it's empty. Router bit drawer, very sad. Not too much stuff. Sandpaper. Uh, Plain-X pads, other pads. I mean, if it has to do with sanding, it's in here. 
sawzalls, other random blades. Oh, nothing. This one usually is loaded up with a bunch of shims. Evidently not right now. Put it on the list. Um, case full of blades for the oscillators. Drywall stuff. This is a new one. So this is all sockets and ratchets and big impact, little 3-8 stubby impact. Blades, another one of those not very good use of space. Cap stapler, another one of those not very good use of space. This one is beyond full. This is Brad's staples, T50 staples, narrow crown staples, 15 gauge, I mean it's just junk. Masonry stuff, I've got two masons on payroll so we actually do use some of this quite a bit. Cock drawer, lots of random crap. Um, so that kind of does it for that. The roll air is going to go because it's not running right and it's been kind of a pain in my ass. So that's going to go bye bye and then we'll replace it with something that's a little quieter, I think. Uh, I think the only thing I have left to do is to prop open the end so that we can check that out. And then I think we'll have. Uh, a quick little rundown of the trailer complete. So let's go outside, open up the back door, and see what else we can find. All right, so real quick, because the heat's on and in there and in the house, and I don't want to uh, lose it all, we'll go over what's on the back of the trailer. So we have a little tiny nook down in this corner. We've got drywall square, rock ripper, a little magnet, uh, some paint poles, and a plank. Uh, we've got level storage here. Uh, this one is partially empty right now because some of my tripods are out, but I keep uh, some crappy levels, my grade stick, tripod, third hand, little baby tripod, a couple other tripods. Um, and so yeah, that's kind of miscellaneous drawer, if you will. Uh, I also have some long clamps buried in there. And then, oh sorry, this is awkward to do with, you know, knees and whatnot. And then this one is uh, wall jacks in the back, roof jacks um, for ladders. We've got some sledgehammers, some mixers, pry bars, kind of like a demo drawer, if you will. So that's that one. This one's actually pretty heavy. Maybe. Nope. Maybe, no. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna have to fuck with that in a minute. Um, and then on this side, uh, regular squares, framing squares, I've got the Festool tracks, the rest of my levels, saw horses for that bench, usually the saw stand, that one is in here, uh, a little folding table, and the Milwaukee stand for the little seven and a quarter saw. So that's kind of how the back of the trailer works. Um, I have a quote right now coming for a new ladder rack up top with a up and over ladder on off the venos we've got currently the same three lights that we've had for the last couple of years i'm looking at maybe adding like two more on the sides maybe one more i don't know i gotta play with it yet um to get that done we're also looking at maybe doing an axle upgrade and a couple other things to the trailer to make it a little bit more efficient so um that's kind of that so that is going to wrap up, I do believe. Oh, actually, I'll probably chuck one more video that I took earlier this morning on the end of all this, which is about my new PJ trailer that I bought um, last year. So one, uh, one quick little last walk around. We've got lots of space for more stuff. We just have to figure out how to better utilize it. So... Um, with that being said, I think that's going to wrap up this video. So this has been the 2020 tour slash the like preview to the trailer the way it is now before we get into the remodel. So really excited about the remodel. We're insulating, heating, potential air conditioning, uh, lots of 12 volt stuff so that this is more of like a standalone system. So uh, really looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys will follow along on the build for um the remodel i'm really excited about that i try and keep this gopro rolling so that i don't miss out on stuff and then at the end one day just be like hey guys look what i built 
So with that all being said, that's what I got for you. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, I got a lot of time into it and I've made quite a few little remodels, but I'm hoping that this next big remodel will really set me up for success in the future. So thanks again for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video.